Hello, it's Natasha with Natasha Rose Photography and I'm going to go ahead and give a quick tutorial on how to apply my overlays. Now these are the Firefly overlays that I'm showing you and they are free for download. If you go to facebook.com slash Natasha Rose Photography, you can go ahead and download those for free. They're under, under my tab section and um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to apply them. And this also works for any other basic overlay that you're looking at applying to a photo. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick with mine for now. Okay, so on this photo, I'm going to start with my base photo. And this is my last senior session, Kaylee. And so I'm going to apply the Mystic Overlay. So what you want to do is you want to take your overlay and you want to pull it up into your photo. And then, as you can tell, it doesn't reach either side. So I'm going to drag it to fit each side. All right, and now that that's in place, I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to the side of my screen and I'm going to change this to soft light. Um, some people like to change it to screen, uh, some like color dodge. I just kind of move around and see which one I, I prefer, which kind of suits the look that I'm going for, the feel or the style of the photo. And then I'm gonna take the opacity and I'm gonna lower it to about 75%. And then I kind of want to get rid of the green that is casting on her face. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mask of the overlay. And then I'm going to come over here to my brush, make sure that my brush is on black and the opacity is at 100. I'm going to kind of just go ahead and go over Kaylee's hair. I'm going to go over her skin, her dress, just anything that I don't want the overlay to kind of be on. All right, so then you've got that. Now, I kind of want to give it a little bit more of a, a warmer tone. So I'm going to come right back up over here and I'm going to go to photo filter. And as you can see, it gives it that kind of warm tone. So I'm going to kind of bring down the density on that. I'm going to add that filter. And I'm going to merge visible. And now, if you would like to add a little bit more, you can see the firefly effect up here in this area. But if you want to add even a, even an even greater firefly effect, oh, sorry there, then you can come back over here and you can take Enchanted, toss it over. There you go. All right, and now on this one, you're going to want to screen. Uh, it's because the screen is going to cut out all of the black and it's going to leave just the white part and that's kind of what I'm looking for is that and you can kind of move it around um, you could lower the opacity down a little bit I kind of want mine to be probably at about a 50 and then you can move it to just kind of like that to see uh, where you like it and if you don't want that much you can also mask it and then go and you can kind of take away parts of that right there too so if you don't want like a lot of the firefly showing you can kind of go and mask it and it'll hide the fireflies but since I really want to show a lot of the fireflies on this image I'm gonna go ahead and just bring them all back a little bit but I want to keep them off of her face so I'm gonna make sure and just slightly rub over her face and her body just a tad all right and then there you go you've got your final product and you can go ahead and just save it and upload it and feel free to share all of your photos on my page uh, i went ahead and unlocked the settings so that you can share them on my page and thank you very much for watching sorry it was kind of a rush tutorial but i'm on a little bit of a time crunch here so thank you all and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment box